Hi, I'm Kai, and in this video I want to show you how to use Buspa connection points in ePlan. How to use them is not a big issue in ePlan, but most people have some problems how to number them automatically. And therefore I want to show you a few solutions how to number your Buspa connections very easy. So stay tuned. In the beginning I want to insert such a busbar connection clamp. To insert a busbar connection point, you just go to the tab Insert and here to busbar connection point. And with tap on your keyboard, you can rotate it and place it above our PE. And now we can give a device tag, for example PE, and the connection point designation is 1. Now we go to the tab Symbol Function Data and to logic and set the potential type also to PE. Now we click apply and OK. And we have here our first busbar connection point with PE. If you don't know why the auto connecting line is getting green with a dash dot line, I put you the link to this video below in the video description. So and now we want to have a second PE connection point here. So we just mark it, make a right click and duplicate and place it here above this PE. And now I say the quantity is 1 and number it. And what now happened is you can see that here the device tag is PE, but here the device tag is now PE1. And this is not what we want. We want to have now PE and the connection point designation should be 2. So I delete this and make it again, right click and duplicate. And now we go here to a numbering format to the more button. And here we can make our own scheme for all this stuff here in ePlan. So I change here to device tag. And here we make now our own scheme, especially for the busbar connection points. So I make a new scheme, click here on new, and name it for example busbar. You can also insert a description and click on OK. And now, because we don't want to number the device tag, we uncheck all these checkboxes here in the tab device tag and go to the tab designations. And this is something we want to count, about, but only for the busbar connections. So we also just keep the busbar connection point checked. And when we click here on the more button, you see that already the counter is selected. So this is per default right, and we can save it. When we click now on OK, we have here selected the busbar numbering format and click OK. And now you have PE2. And this is something you can now use as a numbering format for your busbar connections. And now we have a look on what we can do when we use such a busbar terminal block with 12 poles. So when we know already that this has 12 connections, we can go to our device navigator, so device and navigator, go to our control panel A1, and here we make a right click and click on new. And now we first create a busbar definition. This should be for the Neutral, you can also give a text here. Click OK. And here we make now a right click and click on New Functions. And we set the function definition to the busbar connection. And because we know that we have 12 poles, we make the numbering format from 1 to 12. 
And then you see that ePlan automatically counts the number of functions to 12, and we click OK. And now we have in our device navigator 12 neutral busbar connections under this device. So we can insert them, tap, you can rotate it, and place it, for example, here on our neutral. We can use the second one. And for sure, it makes sense when you have created this one time that you place these functions below your part in the function template. One thing what not working is when you mark your device here in the device navigator and try to make an offline numbering. So when you go here to number, this will not work for your neutral because this will only change the device tag. The only thing when you want to number later on everything again is that you make a right click and go to edit in table. And maybe when you have here some struggle that maybe this is this one is two and this is one, you can change it here in the table. Thanks for watching this video. If you have further questions, please leave a comment below this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video, which I recommend you on the right side. Grow your e skills.